Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Joe Jaspie here and that is a dual case break of 2020 Panini Donruss Optic Football. Two blaster cases, 40 boxes total. So settle in, no vet common ship in this one. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Appreciate the people who bought spots straight up. And uh, congrats to the people again who won spots in those uh, Chronicles football packs. All 32 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize each list six and a three, nine times. Your name's first. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. We got Sean down to Eric after nine. Six and a three, nine times for the teams. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. And again, ninth and final time. We got the Cleveland Browns down to the Seattle Seahawks. All right, Sean with the Browns, Ryan with the Jags, Travis with the Texans, Alan, you got my Raiders, and you also have my rivals, the Broncos, Tyler with the Steelers, Aaron with the Vikings, Brandon with the Titans, Aaron with the Ravens, Guy with the Colts, Jeremy with the Dolphins, Matthew with the Bengals, Guy with the Niners and the Bills, Matthew with the Panthers, Jeff with the Cardinals, Sean with the Buccaneers, Jeff with the Rams, Brandon with the Chargers, Nick with the Jets, Robert with the Packers, Martin with the Boys, Nick with the Eagles, and the Washington football team, Kansas City and Patriots going to Sean, Robert with the Saints, Sean with the Bears, Kip with the Lions, Steve with the Giants, Karen with the Falcons, and Eric with the Seattle Seahawks. We're going, here, let me sort by column B. And when we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then, uh, and then we'll have the break. BRB. All right. Welcome back. So there was a lot of trade chatter, but at the end, uh, in the end, no no deals were done here. Thursday, September second, twenty twenty one, dual case break number two. Thanks everybody. Here's the final list, hot off the presses. So here's the first case right here. Right. The second case is right over here. So that'll be sitting back there. So let's put Donner's Optic Blaster. Let's bust this open. And I think generally speaking, there should be, yeah, Sport, I was just about to say, I wanna say that there are downtowns in this. Generally, I don't, I don't know if they're guaranteed, but I think one per case. All right, so you can see all 20 boxes on the top camera right here. Here's one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, 20. That's the plan, Brandon. That is the plan. See, every once in a while, you'll get a good randomizer like this. In 40 boxes, you telling me I can't find you a couple, a couple nice Herberts? There's gotta be, right? I hope. <laughs> Because all it takes is a couple to, 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 to make a lot. And then you just got to hope that Justin Herbert just goes off this season. Sean Jaspi, is Justin Herbert going to go off this season? No, everybody sell now. Everyone needs to sell Herberts to Charger fan Sean Jaspi. I, I, I think the implication was very clear in the tone of your voice. Yeah, the, I, I think the implication was very strong. <laughs> the, because of the implication, Mac. <laughs> because of the implication, Mac. De Dennis, are you going <laughs> to... All right. 
All right. We're going to open up a five boxes at a time here. <laughs> yeah, Brian, we, we got a, we got a good staff here. You can always, when you pick up your cards, you can always talk to the guys up front. I'll give you some honest opinions. How many Herberts did we get the last time we did this full case break? I think there were a, a handful. There's not, let's be real, there's not going to be a Herbert in every box. Um, but I think we did a dual caser not too long ago. But yeah, I mean, at this point, yeah, it's probably worth grading. I mean, I, I actually think grading at this point of the season is probably a good idea because, because I think that prevents people from selling too early because it kind of forces you to put the cards away and wait till the end of the season. Too many times people sell after a bad week or two and they're like, oh, I'm selling my Herberts and they overreact and stuff like that. I think sometimes grading closer, closer to the beginning of the season, you probably won't get a lot of stuff uh, back until the end of the season. So yeah, I think there's some sort of, I don't know, uh, has PSA reopened? They must, I don't know, maybe they're, or maybe they're still in the process of that, but yeah, I think they should definitely have, uh, have some sort of group race and stuff like that. All right, first five boxes in this 40 box break. We're doing both cases. Thanks, everybody. Oh, first right out of the gate is a rookie phenom relic, T. Higgins. Bengals, Matthew Sherrod. There's DeAndre Swift. Jalen Hurts, rated rookie hollow. Nick Stober with the Fly Eagles Fly. Yeah. Could be a big big season for him if he does well. Gotcha. PSA only just reopened with with two price points which are expensive and super expensive. Um, for these rookies right here, we're going to set those aside just in the interest of time. Our shipping team will sleeve and top load those. I will, however, keep an eye out for the, uh, the, court, the rookie quarterbacks in this. And any low numbered stuff like 25 and under. Joe Burrow, base rated rookie. Bengals, Matthew. Now settle in, folks. This break is going to take a little bit. All right, so there's an AJ Dillon, Purple Shock, Darnell Mooney Hollow. Is that what they call them? Pur purple Shock? Yeah, Purple Shock is what they call them. There's a rated rookie, Jacob Eason Hollow. Save those purple shots. And a base Jalen Hurts for Nick and the Eagles. What's going on over there? Oh, a little reverb? Yeah. Next to the sound effects there? Uh, I was showing, uh, I was trying to help DJs find something on the website. <laughs> I got you. Like, my phone. Just, oh, oh, it was so feedback, I, I see. Yeah. Justin Jefferson, Relic, Minnesota, Aaron. Uh, and Kenny has a optic football blaster box. Kenny only grabbing from Fox. Jacob Eason. And there's a rated rookie hollow, Chase Claypool. I feel like there's like a little bit of an edge issue up there. But take a look at that a little more closely, Tyler. But still a hollow chase claypool. Antoine Winfield Jr. hollow. Tom Brady chase claypool purple shock. It's going to Nick. Uh, no, check that. That's a different Pennsylvania team. Tyler, that is. Just said his name a second ago.
Damien likes, uh, ooh, Darnell Mooney. Yeah, he's he's a bit of a playmaker. I think a good, uh, I think last year I tried to Im deploy him a lot in my, uh, my daily fantasy lineups because he has that sort of, sort of a boom quality to him. There's a Josh Kelly rated rookie, Power Shaw. So maybe this year with another year of experience under his belt. Be a breakout season for him. There's Tyler Johnson, rookie phenoms for the Bucks. Sean. Look at that uh, Tom Brady as well. It's my guy Henry Ruggs. I think big expectations for him this season as well. Yeah, I did get your order. Zach Moss, rated rookie. 100%. Uh, the 999 Fox. Oh, and Mikai Becton for the Jets is a rookie. KJ Dobson, hollow. That's what the VIP is. Denzel Mims, rated rookie. Power Shock. Tyler Murray. That was the first five boxes. Oh, is Brandon already calling it? It's over <laughs> after five boxes out of 40? Who wants to buy the uh, Chargers at a prorated rate from Brandon? After five, we have 35 boxes left. He says it's over. It's not how you start, it's how you finish a break. Are you opening up some Optic too? I'm opening the blaster, yeah. Optic Blaster? Wow. Optic Blaster is everywhere. Everyone do their fantasy drafts, ladies and gentlemen? How, how do you feel about your team this year? I was talking with, uh, with Nick Jasper. He is very bullish on his team. He, he, thinks, he thinks he has a championship team. I'm in a 12-team, 14-team, 12-team, Two quarterback league, which makes it very challenging. And it's an auction league, and it's a keeper league. So, so with all the keepers, I think three keepers per team. I think with all the keepers, that also, you know, inflates prices of some of a lot of players really. So it becomes pretty challenging. Any sleepers that people like? Um, one player, Steve, you draft Monday and Wednesday night. Nick's in a $200 league, kept Justin Herbert for the minimum, $10, nice, in a two QB league, that's awesome. Second QB, Lamar Jackson, Alvin Kamara running back one, that's really solid. Damien's team is solid, but injury prone players, like who? Hoping for good health. Uh-oh. Robert doesn't feel confident at all. Didn't real didn't even realize that Julio had left Atlanta for the Titans and he lives in Atlanta. Uh-oh. So the draft did not go well. Ooh, Damien has Saquon Barkley. That's interesting. Now, I got I got rugs on my team as well. I think he's going to act more as a flex or a wide receiver for really more of a flyer, taking a flyer on the guy. Um, just in case it just clicks until it all all comes together. My wide receiver three, so I got Tyree Kill, I got Odell Beckham Jr., and then my wide receiver three is um, is uh, Corey Davis for the Jets. I've got a I've got a got a feeling about Corey Davis and the Jets. He was pretty solid in Tennessee. Now he's more of the main guy out there in New York with the Jets. So let's see, Kip with the. Uh, 
DeAndre Swift Hollow, Keyshawn Vaughn Purple Shock, another Joe Stop. Burrow. AJ Epinesa. Another Joe Burrow base going to Matthew Shira. Nice Rex is, has all of his fantasy money tied up in Joe Jaspi. I think I'm going to have a pretty good season. There it is. Rated rookie hollow Justin Herbert. That's Brandon with the Los Angeles Chargers. Nice. Bought a spot straight up and got randomized to the Chargers. There you go. The hollows are nice. Real nice. Joe Reed for him too. Rated rookie. Purple Shock. Jalen Johnson. Devin Asiasi. And we got Michael Pittman Jr. Some people like Michael Pittman Jr. as a bit of a, a sleeper this year, possibly. What do you think, Nick? Michael Pittman Jr.? No. No quarterback. No offensive line. Wentz. Frank Wright. He's hurt. Wentz. COVID or whatever. Yeah, he's fine. No, this is a little bit thicker card sock because it's out of 50. Colts. That'll be for Guy. Nick, you want to tell the crew about no, your team? I don't either. You feel good about your team? Yeah, I think my team's freaking nasty. Yeah? I just thought yeah, I felt Your quarterbacks are? Yeah. Jalen Hurts. Right. Uh, Mac Jones and Jared Goff. Okay. The running backs. Saquon Barkley. Right. Damien had Saquon Barkley, too. He Joe was Mixon. nervous about health. But, yeah, if they're healthy, okay. Saquon Barkley, John Mixon, and Damien Harris. All right. My wide receivers. I have Justin Jefferson. Solid. I have Stephon Diggs, who's probably the number one receiver. Great, great. Buffalo. And I have Keenan Allen. Wow. Solid number That's three receiver. Are you serious? You yeah, got all those my guys? Team's nasty. How did you get those three receivers? I, I, I was like last last year, so I got a lot of the good keepers traded to me. Oh. So I had Justin Jefferson for two bucks. You kept those Hurt, guys. I had Jalen Hurts for two bucks, and I had Diggs for like under thirty. It's a keeper league, so. And then I have Dallas Goddard as my tight end. He's like a top. He's like. Yeah, he's up there. He's up there. Yeah. Jordan then, Love for Robert and the Packers. I didn't draft the kicker. Yeah, but you can pick up any one of those guys. Yeah, and I forget my defense. It's the elite series for Matthew. But I had the same situation last year. Saquon got hurt. Yeah, but if they stay healthy, it could, could be interesting. Nick Stober likes uh, Cole Komet as a maybe sleeper, breakout candidate this year. Yeah, I mean, Jimmy Graham. And there's. I just, I just feel like he. Sean says Cole Komet's not a sleeper next over. Why you think he's so good that he's not a sleeper? He's got a he's got a rookie quarterback that's going to be starting by like week four. So you're going, saying that's going to like feed off of him, and he's going to be his safety blanket the entire season. There's the rookie. So you, Why does everyone think that so the tight end he, will be the safety blanket though? I feel like. So you're saying he's not a sleeper, but he's going to have a good year. Well, he's going to have a all right. I would say Nick Stover, Sean Jaspi says not a sleeper. I would say he's a sleeper. I mean, we're not talking about 16-team dynasties here, Sean. Yeah. Come on, Sean. Damien also likes Sam. Yeah, I think Sam Darnold could be interesting, too. He's on just a fresh start for Sam Darnold probably was necessary. He's got like guys like uh, Christian McCaffrey on the team. Panthers have a fresh new coaching staff. There's some there's some pass catchers there as well. I think Robbie Robbie Anderson maybe DJ Moore had some decent seasons. And we'll see. That Herbert is it worth the buy-in? Yeah. I think raw those still go for. Well, let's look. Yeah. Is 
130point.com down today? Maybe it is. Herbert Hollow, well, PSA 9's $485. Oh no, that's Pink Velocity. Uh, looks like a recent rated rookie Hollow went for 150 bucks raw. So if it PSA 10's out, then it could be, it could be pretty awesome. You know, and I mean, we still have so many boxes to go that there's probably like, I don't know, probably gotta be at least a few more in here and all that adds up and then, and then we're in good shape. How about like 10 more at one? Let's not get greedy, Brandon. Let's be happy with one. Let's start there. Let's start there. And then we can work on work on getting you some more. Another five boxes. Yeah, and Port is saying that if one of if that hollow ends up a PSA ten, yes, yeah, that's, that's over a thousand dollars. And furthermore, if you know, if. Uh, if Herbert starts off the season hot or has a good year, has a good season, you know, then then that those PSA nine, PSA ten prices keep creeping up, like a like a good day at the stock market. So not only is there current value that we're thinking about, the the future value, the ceiling, is uh is the roof. <laughs> the ceiling's still up there. Do I know anything about Cole McDonald? He had a farm. He's on the, the Cardinals now. Sean says he's on the Cardinals now. He believes. I got Matthew Stafford on my fantasy team too. I feel like him here as a Ram. There's Darrington Evans for the Titans, Brandon. Um, With Sean, Mc, with Coach Sean McVay, I think that they can do a little damage. Clyde edwards helaire Purple Shock for Sean and the Chiefs. There's Antonio Gandy Golden. And there's a Jordan Love for Green Bay, Relic. Rookie Phenoms Relic for Robert and the Packers. Go Pack Go. All right, Damien's uh, week one lineup for fantasy. Sammy D, Sam Darnold, Saquon, Taylor, Godwin, JJ, Mark Andrews, Debo Samuels. Debo Samuels, that's not, that's not bad. There's a silver AJ Dillon rated rookie also going to Robert. Yeah, Alan, I I'm cautiously optimistic about Ruggs. He showed some 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 moments of uh, of amazingness last year. You know, a couple big plays, a couple big catches. There's a base Justin Herbert. And a uh, 
Paulo, Jake from State Farm. But he's got that he's got that home run hitting potential, Alan. So I'm not saying he's gonna be he's a wide receiver one or two or three on your team. Looks like these base ones going for about sixty bucks. DJ Dallas, there's Josh Jacobs, Kenneth Murray Hollow, Eno Benjamin. What would I, what position would I play if I were in the NFL? Rex is asking. Um, hey, speaking of rugs, there he is. I think I would be. I think I would be a uh, a middle linebacker. I think I'd be a middle linebacker because. Just from uh, what little casual, you know, football that I've played, I enjoy the I enjoy hitting rather than getting hit. <laughs> All right, there's the next five boxes right there. We got Zach Moss, Buffalo Bills guy with that one. LaMichael Pirine could be interesting. That's Jets. That's Nick. You know, I'll tell you what, Damien. I uh, I ended up keeping Jameis Winston on my team for a very low salary. I think it was just it was like it was like two dollars. I think he's gonna be I think he's gonna be pretty interesting. Got a lot of weapons on that team. Great coaching. Got to marinate behind Drew Brees for a year, which is not nothing. I think that I think that definitely helps. I mean, in spite of throwing 30 interceptions back in 2019, he also threw 30 touchdowns. So maybe maybe some how many of those inter? I mean, you could probably start looking at every single interception. You could probably subtract some as just unlucky. How many could you, could we subtract as unlucky? How many could we subtract because? You know that team was was down, and he was just trying to get back into the game. You know, there's there's probably some interceptions like that. You know, so so I th I think if, if, he, if the situation is better for him. You know, maybe maybe that maybe that would have meant. I don't know, maybe that would have meant five more touchdowns, five less interceptions. How does a 35, 25 interception season sound? Still bad. <laughs> what if it was 40 touchdowns and 20 inter interceptions? I mean, that, that, sounds, that sounds pretty good at that point, even with 20 interceptions. It sounds like that could be like a Brett Favre or something like that. But I don't know. I, I, I can't say that I. Uh, I can't say that I uh, looked at all of Jameis Winston's interceptions from that year. Oh, Minnesota is back up over Ohio State. Steve Locke reporting. But me being in a two quarterback league. Um, Me being in a two quarterback league, I couldn't I couldn't pass up uh, keeping Jameis Winston for like just a couple dollars in an auction league. So but I feel pretty good about it.
flip over to that game. Ohio State at Minnesota on Big Fox. We're talking about football. Playoffs? Playoffs? Yeah, this is real college football, I think. Final five boxes, and we got another case to go. This is a dual case break. There's a uh, Clyde Edward Delair hollow. Sean Maddock with the Chiefs. And a purple shock, Justin Herbert. So I'll have that page open, so let's see what Purple Shock is going to go for. I think Raw Purple Shock, about 100 bucks. And a Tua Tungle Vailoa. We need more of, more of these for Jeremy Port and the Miami Dolphins. Uh, Sean, did you pull a logo, man? Uh, I just pulled PJ, uh, NFL Shield. NFL Shield mixed over. Yeah. Over on the, over on Loop. Very nice NFL Shield. Who, of, of who? Uh, TJ Watt. TJ, Watt. TJ Watt, nice. Yeah, from 2018 Flawless, NFL, NFL Shield, uh, auto. Rex is wondering if the Bears have, here's a rated rookie, hollow Joe Burrow. So Bengals, Matthew Shira. Like Spot that you bought that straight up, thank you. Rex is wondering if the Bears stand a chance to have a winning record this year. Um, you just go on to the thing. I... Um, and then right down here, is yeah. sale item. Yes. Uh, and as long as you register your account. I mean, there's 17 games now. You should be able to purchase. So you got an extra shot. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's a big question. The, the question you're asking, Rex, is a big question mark. Because we don't know, it all depends on the quarterback. What's, you know, I would be surprised if Andy Dalton ended up playing the entire season, starting the entire season. So you got to think that Justin Fields ends up getting in there at some point. There's a Henry Ruggs hollow for Allen. So it'll really just depend on his play, on Justin Fields. But you can't really, historically. Rookie quarterbacks just aren't going to play well their their first year. It's just something that's going to be, you know, that's just something that's going to be a problem for them. Justin Herbert. Yeah, well, I mean that's few and far between though. How often does that how often does that really happen? You know, when you, when you have someone like Justin Herbert just go out there. Right, now it'll be interesting, yeah, once Rodgers leaves and the Packers suck for the next decade, Nick Stover sings, he's a Bears fan, then then, then yes, the Bears will dominate, right, because then by then, Justin Fields will have marinated a little bit, and hopefully will be on his way to be, becoming a franchise quarterback. Teddy Bridgewater, who's in Denver. Now, that's going to be interesting. I have him on my fantasy team, too. There's Cole Komet. We were just talking about him. T. Higgins rated rookie, Purple Shock. We've got a Jordan Love rated, unless Jordan Love becomes a stud. Joe Burrow, the rookies. Nice. Bengals. That's for Matthew Shira. We still got five more boxes in that case. 
All right. Um, there was no downtown in that case. Yeah, they're not guaranteed for case. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll see right here. Brandon, as, as far as these breaks cons are, are concerned, you're actually doing great. This is a great break for the Chargers. You got the you got the hollow Herbert, base Herbert, and a purple shock Herbert. That's a great break right there. I don't think uh, any anything more than that is is an awesome break. All right, so we've got, got a lot of boxes twirled around here. Yeah, yeah, I would, I would be, I would be very. Yeah, we, well, Brandon, you, you're, you're not paying attention to this break, buddy. <laughs> there's your purple shock Herbert. There's your base Herbert, and there's your hollow Herbert. You're out, you're doing. This is an awesome break for the Chargers. I've seen a lot of these blaster cases produce produce far less, far less. So as far as I'm concerned, if you, if you get another, if you don't get another Herbert, the rest of the way, you've won this break already. Now I got. To, now I have to find the similar range of cards for uh, for the Bengals, for the Dolphins, for the Eagles, for the Bengals. Ooh, Rex got in a shipment of Hot Wheels. And he's saying that there's a Tesla Cybertruck as a Hot Wheel? Huh. That's unfortunately the risk of having stuff in mags, especially dinner cards. That's pretty cool. Are, are, uh, yeah. are Hot Wheels still, uh, are, are they hot? I feel like in, I feel like there's there has to be a strong collectors market out there, but for newer stuff, older stuff for sure, newer stuff. Oh, uh, so I don't follow college too closely, but but it sounds like this is an upset in the making. Ohio State's ranked four. Minnesota is unranked. And they've got a they've got a little bit of a lead, 21-17, and they have the ball. Eight minutes left in the third quarter, so it's a lot of, a lot of time left. But so far, so good for them. There's a market on some. I mean, I mean, are you know, unopened. Unopened Tesla Cybertruck is that? I mean, is that going to go for a zillion dollars in like a year? Uh, oh, Minnesota moving the football. They're getting the first down. What awareness that Minnesota quarterback got the ball out and got the first down just like if he stood in there for an extra half a second. That would have been a strip sack. I'd hate to see Ohio State lose on the first game of the year. Yeah, you would hate to see Ohio State lose, Sean? I'm just joking. Sean's a, Sean's a USC fan. Does not like Ohio State. All right. 
Next five boxes of the second case of our dual case break. Thanks, everybody, for getting in on the action here. So we've been uh, setting these rookie parallels aside. They'll be sleeved and top-loaded by, by our shipping team. You never know what these guys can do in their second year. You know, like Jalen Rager, right? What if, what if, what if there's, a, there's a, an amazing Jalen to Jalen connection? You know, Absolutely, man. Congrats. that's the beauty of, of, of the NFL, beauty of any sports really. You don't know what's going to happen. It's just like a group break. You don't know what's going to happen. Jordan Love, Phenoms Relic. That is for Robert and the Packers. Could be the future right there. A lot of people saying that they're going to, a lot of people saying that, that Rogers structured his deal in, a, in such a way. There's Henry Ruggs for Allen, Purple Shock. Structured in such a way that he'll just leave after after this year. No, there was no downtown, Eric, in the first case. They're not guaranteed per case. I think a lot of times you, you, you see them one one per case, but but it's not like a it's not a guarantee. Not like a not like a silver or or gold card, and um, in like impeccable or something like that. It's Brian Edwards Hollow. Just injury riddled season for him last year. Allen has my Raiders. Injury riddled season last year, but big hopes for for him too. In fact, the, the Raiders on their depth chart, there's Anthony McFarlane, purple shock for the Steelers, Tyler. And there's Jalen Hurts. And the Raider rookie hollow, Van Jefferson. In fact, Ruggs and Edwards are are one and two on the on the Raiders depth chart. So they're they're going with them. And then I think maybe Zay Jones and Hunter Renfro what kind of rounds out that receiving core. And of course, that Jalen Hurts going to the Eagles. That'll be for Nick Stober. And of course, they still have Darren Waller, who's going to be pretty good. And then they got um, Josh Jacobs, Kenyon Drake behind him for a spell. But really, the defense is the uh, is the big thing for the Raiders. If they can they, if they can clean up that defense, could be huge. Lamichael P. Ryan. Rookie Phenoms Relic for the Jets. Nick. Now, I don't know if if that Raiders offense and an, an improved defense is going to be the trick, right? I'm not really sure what my, what my expectations are of this season, but... Uh, But, you know, just a better season, I guess. I, I just kind of maybe I don't want to see, like, the last second losses or the last five, fourth quarter losses. You know, too many games last season where the Raiders would be looking good for three quarters and then I would be like, I wonder how the Raiders' defense will blow this in the second half or the fourth quarter or something like that. They've done it many times. Sufjan, yeah. We had a base. Herbert. A hollow Herbert and a purple shock Herbert in the first case. That's pretty strong. And we're only uh, five boxes into the second case. Yeah, I mean Brandon would appreciate more Herberts, but but so far so good for for the Chargers. It's an excellent break. Gotta take care of the other guys too. You're not the only one in this break, Brandon. Seven more, ten. I guess that'd be nice. I wouldn't I wouldn't complain about that, but I gotta look out for for the Bengals. I gotta look out for the Dolphins. I gotta look out for the Eagles. Other. Uh, and the rest of the rest of the league after that. 
Yeah. Well, yeah, if Josh Jacobs does well, I'd be happy. Hashtag good for the sport. Hashtag good for Joe. Hashtag good for the hobby. Yeah, well, downtown would be nice. I'd, I'd love to pull a downtown of any of the big quarterback names. Hopefully there's a downtown in this case. That's a good point, actually. Right. Yeah. Right. Charizard cannot go on the IR. Nick Stover's calling a a downtown Jalen Hurts for himself. Wait, should we? Now I'm curious, if I pulled a downtown Herbert, how much are those going raw? Not, again, not that, not that a downtown is guaranteed in these cases. Uh-oh, that's Ohio State with a touchdown. Yeah, Ohio State did get a get, did get a touchdown, like a like a what 40, 50 yard touchdown here. Wow. Uh, downtown Justin Herbert's raw about nine between nine hundred and eleven hundred dollars. PSA ten. Downtown Herbert thirty five hundred dollars. Jeez, and probably more if he has a great season this year. It's on Fox. Big Fox, 11. Chase Claypool, Pittsburgh, Tyler. And we had a, uh, the rookies insert to Otungo Vailoa, Miami, Jeremy Port. Um, if you're curious, a Tua downtown. There's Chase Young, Purple Shock for Nick Stover. Hollow, Clyde Edwards, Elaire. Still loading. Dedrick Wills, Josh Kelly, Purple Shock. No, it's, it's not loading for some reason. One thirty point doc, one three zero p o i n t dot com. So we'll have to wait on that. The suspense. There's a hollow Justin Jefferson and another purple shock, Justin Herbert for Brandon. He gets one, I get one. Yeah, Sean says he gets one, you get one. I'm sure he'll sell it to you at a good price, Sean. Uh, Hollow Justin Jefferson will go to Aaron and the Vikings. Jeff Okuda, rated rookie Hollow for the Lions. Kip. I know, right? CJ Henderson, purple shock for the Jags. Ryan Heinz. 
Uh, Port looked it up. It's a Tua Raw. Just sold on eBay for five eighty down downtown Tua. So that's not bad. No, we're just, I mean we're just looking them up like prognosticating. Prognosticating. See if uh, Jalen Hurts downtown Raw uh, looks like maybe three eighty to four thirty around there. One sold for five hundred, but mostly at about around four. Silver or hollow Joshua uh, Kelly. Value, baseball, the uh, the little Michael P. Ryan purple shock for the Jets. That's going to go to Nick. Oh really? We have a we have a two a downtown here in the store. PSA ten in the store, Oliver. What are, what are we? Do you remember what we were charging for that? I think we put those those single cards away. A secure location. Jalen Hurts, the rookies, Eagles. Yeah, I think I think they put those away. Yeah, they're not there anymore. In our secure location every night. Damon Arnett, and wow, a hollow. That's your second hollow rated rookie, Justin Herbert, Brandon. <laughs> Maybe we are gonna get 10 for you. All right, 10 more boxes to go. Yeah, those hollows absolutely should get great. I mean, they really just, I would just send them all in. If, if you're lucky enough to get stumble into a PSA 10, it'd be awesome. Oh no, a Minnesota fumble. Oh, a scoop and score. Oh no. No penalties. No, no flags. It's play stands. Sorry, Minnesota fans. Yeah, that second hollow actually looked better than the first hollow. There was a little bit of an edge issue with the first hollow, I think, at the top. Um, it's still nice. We're nitpicking at this point now, but. But yeah, the second Herbert looks a little bit nicer. Am I a jinx, Minnesota fan? Should I, should I change the game? I think as soon as I started watching. There's two touchdowns. Maybe I'm good luck. I can't. Maybe maybe Ohio State fans are like, Joe, don't change the channel. Minnesota fans are like, come on. Stop watching, Joe. You're ruining everything. Yeah, CR7 back in the car. Aren't you a United guy? Gross. Manchester United guy? Ew. Oh. 
All right. Almost, almost puked into my own mouth there. Luis Patino, Ryan Weather, oh. Hyper Rookie, Anthony Rendon, Prismic Power, and Shane McClanahan, Togo Akiyama, Refractor, and Anthony Brian Hayes, 86, Refractor, Gavin Lux, Future Star, and Gavin Lux, Andres Jimenez, Rookie Refractor. So, Cristiano being back in the Premier League, though, is, uh, yeah, I'm a Liverpool guy, Damien, come on. But, uh, but actually, Cristiano being back in the, in the Premier League, though, that's probably hashtag good for the hobby. I've not actually really looked at what prices are like, you know, um, what, what his, like, autograph prices from, like, Panini sets or whatever. I don't know how they've been reacting to that news, the market, how, how the market has reacted to that news is what I'm trying to say. There's Tyler Johnson. Uh, relic for Sean and the Buccaneers, but I, I would imagine it's got to be it's got to be good hashtag good for the hobby, right? There's Antonio Gibson purple shock for Nick Stover, Lavisca Chenault Jr. hollow for the Jags that'll be for Ryan Heinz, Antoine Winfield Jr. another Buccaneer. So I would think that's got to be hashtag good for the hobby. There's Tom Brady for the Buccaneers. Denzel Mims. Purple Shock for the Jets, Nick. I like that sort of Denzel Mims, Corey Davis receiving combo out there. Nate Stanley, Purple Shock. Purple Team, Jake Luton. So now that they got rid of uh, Gardner Minshew, is Jake Luton the backup? Out there, Purple Shock, Joshua Kelly. KJ Olsen, Purple Shock. John Means, Garrett Crochet, and, and another Austin. Purple Shock, Justin Herbert, for Brandon. Wow, what a break! We'll do we'll do a recap at the at the end of the video. There's DeAndre Swift Hollow for Detroit for Kip, Ashton Davis, purple uh, purple uh, shock. Um, I think the purple shocks were going for like 160 a pop or something like that. There you go. Purple shock, Joe Burrow, Matthew Sherrod with the Bengals. It's pretty nice as well. Pretty, just overall, at least for the bigger quarterback names, pretty good. Maybe need a little find a little more Miami, a little more Philadelphia would make this just overall really great break. Clyde Edwards Elaire, rookie Phenoms relic. Yeah, thanks question, thanks Darkwing. Yeah, Sean Madden, Madden with the Chiefs. And then Hodge, I got you up after this. Zach Moss rated rookie. Purple shock for guy in the Bills. There's my guy Henry Ruggs. Hollow for Allen and the Raiders. Yeah, I'm showing my Raiders bias by sleeving up this card right now. Let's go, Ruggsy. Can't wait till he torches the Chargers for 200 yards and three touchdowns. All right, final five boxes. Wow, nice. All right, good one, Sean. <laughs> No, no, I don't think a team has signed Cam Newton yet. You gonna go to the Cowboys? I don't know. Still overthinking that 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 there's uh there's vaccination reasons for that. 
If there is a players union, wouldn't be very happy about that. That's true. They kind of maybe the Cowboys. So if you know where do the base veterans commons go if you don't ship them, we we box them up in like these 300 count to 500 count boxes. We sell them and we donate the money to charity. If you come to our shop, you'll see a whole table with boxes of vet commons and we sell for five five to ten dollars. They actually do sell like hotcakes, yeah. A lot of people buy them. I think this, for the last handful of months, it's been going to breast cancer, breast cancer organization, yeah. Protect those breasts. Yeah, I think four more left, Brandon. Four, four more Herberts. Although, if you do the math, I don't know if we're going to find four Herberts in the last five boxes. I'm more interested at this point, more interested in finding a, uh, a hollow, uh, hollow Tua for Jeremy. Maybe a hollow Jalen Hurts for Nick Stober. So I'm, I'm, I'm rooting for that to happen. Yeah, next over, yeah. He's saying, hey, keep those vet commons all day for a good cause. Yeah, we, we usually rotate the charities every every once in a while. Usually we do it a little more often, but for this time, we haven't rotated a lot recently. But I think we've done Boys and, Boys and Girls Club. I think we've done Children's Hospital, I feel like we've, we did recently. LA has a great, uh, great children's hospital sort of uh, program here, which is great. Can anyone beat PSG? I don't know. A PSG can can beat anyone in Ligue 1, but uh, but they they've got a they've got a tough time. Um, they've got a tough time in the Champions League, which is the which is the issue. Yeah, no two of variations yet. I don't know if we've. I don't know. Yeah, we we got to find some two as here. At the, uh, nice gotta find some Tua's here. The final five boxes. Because there was a Burrow Purple Shock. Was there a, maybe there was a Tua, Tua base card maybe a little bit earlier. But no, no, no Tua Hollows or Purple Shocks. We've got to find one of those. No downtown here either. Again, downtowns are not guaranteed per uh, per case. Two, two very good young wide receivers. Great picks. Last box mojo, People seem to really like Darnell Mooney as maybe a breakout breakout candidate this year. There's Brian Edwards, purple shock for Allen and the Raiders, and a rated rookie, Hollow Joe Burrow, Matthew Shira with the Bengals. Andrew Thomas, Purple Shock. Yeah, Julian Okwara, Hollow. Jeff Okuda, Purple Shock. So last box mojo on that 95 football platinum, guys. Base Justin Herbert. Baseball VIP, it is extremely tempting. And a hollow, rated rookie That's hollow Chase good. Young for, uh, for Nick Stober and the Washington football team. No Another Justin Herbert. 
for Brandon. Another Brian Edwards purple shot. Yeah, sure, Jalen Ragor for the Eagles. That Vanessa purple shock. And a rated rookie hollow, Jalen Hurts. You got it. Uh, Hodge, I've got the Burrow, the thoughts. base, the Burrow luck, hollow, yes. the base Herbert, and a hollow Jalen Hurts. Wow. Like for Nick Stober and the Fly Eagles Fly. Can we get a Tua here? There's a Mike Kosicki. Travis Kelsey. Cole Komet, Purple Shock for the Bears. Sean Maddock. Uh, Joe Burrow, Elite Series. Well, rookies, know. insert. And maybe some yeah, Tua. Jeff Gladney, yeah. Purple Shock. So they, Keyshawn Vaughn, hollow for the Buccaneers. A purple shock. Justin Jefferson's pretty nice. That goes to Minnesota. That'll be for Aaron. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was a pretty awesome break. Great dual case break of 2020 Panini Donners Optic Football. Uh, all Blasters, Ram Team break number two. Thanks, everybody. Let's do a quick recap here. Now, I wish we would have found some more uh, more Tua's. And the rookies, insert. We're going Juan Soto. Tier 1 auto. Yeah, we have that base Tua. Just did not see the parallels for Tua as often as some of the, uh, some of the other guys. All right, there you go. Thanks, everybody. For watching, for breaking with us, I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.